and helpful young woman. She was shy at first, but when you got her going on justice issues, being fair to friends, being loyal, you can get her going on a lot of, uh, with a lot of words, because this justice issue is very important to her. Being fair to your friends, sticking up for those who are downtrodden. She often knew the answers to some of the tougher questions about the Bible and God, and reported that she enjoyed her faith talks with her dad. I started out, well, frankly, the entire sermon is about you two guys. I started out addressing you directly and then bragging about you, but now I'm going to talk to you again. I'll end my thoughts in the same way. To the two of you, I hope that you have learned many things in your two years of confirmation. Through all the videos that we talked about, hard questions, like how can God be both human and divine? What do Christians believe about war? Were there dinosaurs on the ark? Through all of those questions, I think you have learned, and I hope that you have learned, but from my estimation, what was more valuable and more interesting was the conversations we had when we worked through your workbooks and talked about the importance of your families. We talked about the things that you were excited about and the vacations that you were going to go on with family and how important it is to be a good friend to others. I appreciate the two of you and all that we learn together. And I hope that you continue to learn and grow in your faith through looking at your confirmation Bible, through looking at your workbooks, through attending worship, through asking hard faith questions of your parents. Maybe you can even stump them sometimes and together find the answers. Above all, I want you to remember the one basic truth about God that you learned in Sunday school, but we are confirming throughout the classes and especially today. It's a sentiment that is captured in the song you learned way back, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Or as Paul put it in his letter to the people at Rome, I am convinced